for algorithmic tests uh there are like lots of online Research, like researchers and stuff, yeah. yeah lead codes is the most popular one mm -hmm. you have um you have other like hacker ranks mm -hmm. yeah, yeah and there are like uh, you can do other online uh, programming contests on the on in the portals yeah. like code forces top coders so yeah these are these are pretty good uh, online resources that can brush up your algorithmic skills but uh, then again there's really good one as called as pramp where you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can do one-on-one -on -one mock interviews, mock interviews yep. where you both are potentially looking for the job, mm -hmm. prepping for the interview. So that helps. And um, for system designs, there are resources as well uh, in the online. So uh, yeah. And uh, in the PRAMP, you can do, again, one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. to brush up your system designs. Yeah. And uh, there's certainly one other aspect that, mostly um people don't really look into when they're prepping that's the behavioral side of the interviews mm -hmm. like you get questions like how did you tackle certain scenarios um challenges overcome the challenges in your past roles or maybe if you're a fresher what how did you do certain how do you face certain scenarios in your yeah. student how base. How do you break down problems? Yes. So those those behavioral questions or scenarios, uh, it, it, it gives you an upper hand if or uh, a bit confidence because there's very short time in your interviews. Mm -hmm, yeah. It's just 40 so, minutes, 45 minutes. So communicating effectively. Communicating effectively. Key, yeah, skill. key yeah. skills, yes. So yeah. So, so yeah. yeah, that's sometimes you when you go to the next rounds, like there are in the in the main loops, there are generally three, four rounds of interviews, mm -hmm. five, maybe five yeah. as well. So you get multiple chances. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it depends. But it's surely if you have uh, more skills and if you have good practice, mm -hmm. you have better chance on cracking that yeah. job. Yeah. So, so this is good tips for how to like get a job, actually. But let's backtrack. Like, how do you even get an interview? Say you live in a country where you don't have tech giants established. Say you live in like Pakistan. Well, India has a few, but say you live in like Bangladesh, Pakistan, or like somewhere in Africa, for example, and you want to like get a job in tech giant into like industries. Yes. Like, how do you actually get to that part? Like, what do you do? Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm from Bangladesh. So in Bangladesh, uh, the only giant I would say is Samsung R and D. Mm -hmm. And for others, there's no offices of Google, Microsoft, yeah. Facebook. Same in Pakistan as well, yeah. Yeah. So in that case, uh, all these um, big tech giant companies, they do hire from abroad, like mm -hmm. uh, from different geographic regions. And uh, not specifically, but you can, they, all of them has their career portals. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Microsoft has the career.microsoft.com. So you go to that portal, you build your profile. Um, I'm, I, yeah. I'm talking about Microsoft here. Yeah. So you build your profile, you put all your skills, your experiences, you build a good resume. Mm -hmm. 